guys, and welcome to the Wild's weekly creature feature. In this episode, we're going to be taking a look at Elvis's cousins, the parrot. There are over 350 species of parrots found in warm climates all over the world. The greatest diversities, however, are found in Australia and Central and South America. Parrots come in a variety of sizes, from the teeny tiny parrotlet to the huge hyacinth macaw. They come in a multitude of colors, like the scarlet macaw, the eclectus, the budgie, and have a ton of variety in plumage, like the Major Mitchell's cockatoo, cockatiels like Elvis, lovebirds, Senegal parrots, and palm cockatoos. Despite their differences in outward appearances, at the core there are traits that all parrot species share. All parrots have curved, hooked beaks and are zygodactyles. Check out Elvis's feet. Being zygodactyle means that all parrots have four toes on each foot, with two pointing backwards and two pointing forward. This gives parrots the ability to tightly grasp branches and climb upside down or parallel to the ground. Some parrot species are highly endangered. In other cases, tame birds have reproduced in the wild and established thriving feral populations in foreign ecosystems. For example, the monk or Quaker parrot is now found in several states across the U.S. As the human population continues to grow and expand outward, we are inevitably destroying the natural world around us to make room for housing developments, agricultural ventures, and factories. This causes loss of habitat for the parrots, lack of food sources, and extreme competition between species for both. The illegal pet trade also plays a huge part in species endangerment. There are a few ways you can help parrot species in the wild. If you're going to purchase a parrot as a pet, do your research. Make sure your breeder has no history of bringing parrots in from the wild. Also, make sure that you buy produce that was grown on safe agricultural land, not land that was once a rainforest. Also, reduce your use of papers and always recycle. The more we recycle, the less trees need to be cut down and the more parrots we can save. There are some parrot species that make excellent pets and some that don't. However, each individual bird has its own personality and there are always exceptions. But according to Bird Talk Magazine, the top 10 most popular bird species to own in order are cockatiels like Elvis, sun conures, budger gars, African greys, macaws, cockatoos, Amazon parrots, lovebirds, Quaker parrots, and poissophilus. Pet parrots require a lot of regular attention to stay happy and healthy. If neglected or if they get bored, they can begin to pluck their feathers right out of their skin. This is a very negative psychosomatic behavior and is very difficult to stop once the behavior begins. The best way to avoid plucking is to give your parrots lots of love and attention as well as a lot of fun toys in his or her cage to occupy their attention when you're not around. Getting bitten is unfortunately an occupational hazard when working with or owning a parrot. All birds bite. Now, bites from budgies, cockatiels, parrotlets, and lovebirds may not even have the ability to break skin. However, bites from larger species such as cockatoos and macaws have the ability not only to break skin, but break finger bones. The strongest beak in the parrot world belongs to the world's largest parrot, the hyacinth macaw. Now their beak is powerful enough to crack coconuts open. To learn how to lessen your chances of being bit, or to learn how to train your parrot not to bite, make sure to check out the Wild Web. I'll be posting informational videos as well as articles to help you guys out. A quick note to all new parrot owners. I will be posting a list of foods never to be given to your feathered friend, as well as the use of nonstick Teflon pans on the Wild Web. Make sure to check it out. It could save your parrot's life. Thank you guys so much for watching this week's episode of the Wild's Weekly Creature Feature. Make sure to check out my other videos and head over to the Wild Web to learn more about our feathered friends. If you guys like this video, make sure to hit the thumbs up button below and the subscribe button up top and favorite and share this video as well. Thank you guys again so much for watching and I'll be seeing you next time here in the wild. Good boy. Good boy.